big naughty big naughty. oh wait i know it's uh it, big naughty um the 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 tourism ad that we watch where the guys are dancing in the street big naughty yeah you know what i'm talking about That might be the only exposure that I'm aware of for me with Big Naughty. Hopeless Romantic featuring somebody. Let's see here. H1GHR. I don't know if that's right. Higher, higher music. No. Big Naughty. Lee Suyun. Okay. Okay, I, I kind of want to start that over. I, w I was not expecting this. I was expecting something like the something kind of goofy. I was not prepared. I'm sorry, is that the same person? Does anybody know? Is that the same person singing both those parts? If this video is what I think it is, I'm already blown away just by the simplicity of, of a couple little things. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Thank you. 
don't you? If these friggin' kids start singing, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> was crazy did anybody else feel like that was pretty damn powerful not just pretty not a nice video but pretty powerful mm. wow So apparently the the woman's voice that you hear is from Akmu. And we have Big Naughty here. Hopeless romantic. I wanna I just I wanna I wanna read the lyrics real quick. Mm. Actually, I want to watch this first verse again. This imagery is it. <laughs> Wow. <sighs> okay. Um, let me ask you, because normally I just kind of give you my two cents here. Now that you've seen the video, what do you think this imagery says? Look at this shot. Take the information in this image and tell me what you think might be represented in some way. And there's no wrong answers. Like, I'm curious. Okay, giving up, someone who's lost everything, rock bottom, ruined life, okay, abandoned, hopeless. His love was his home. Mm, Aaron, the trash could also be their baggage. Emotionally. That's where I was going, Aaron. And I don't think, I think all of you, I think there's, like, there's no right answer. There might be that the artist has said, this is what I was trying to say. I, we have no idea. Okay. But. Here's why I thought this was so powerful. Yeah, broken down and carrying too much emotional baggage. Now, that's a lot of assumptions to make off this one shot. But this is where this became really powerful. It was already powerful immediately. When they started talking about childhood and scars and the things that we carry with us, that's when it became a bit evident to me, I think, in my opinion and perspective, this is baggage, okay? Emotional baggage. 
when we got to this point, here, think about how difficult it would be to actually do this, to push a shopping cart full of things up this grassy ass hill. Think about that, okay? That is not easy. Well, this means something, right? Think about as beautiful as this scene is compared to these scenes back here, okay? We fast forward to this. Let me back up a little bit. Did I go too far? Did I miss it? How did I do that? How many buttons did I press? There we go, right here. As beautiful as this environment is, it's still a struggle because of the emotional baggage that he's carrying, right? It's hard to see all of that when you're having to deal with this. And this felt like the contrast between feast and famine. There's moments of pure joy. You have everything you need and then some. And then this felt like you kind of reached a bit of a summit. You know, you reached a turning point. Is what it felt like to me. Mm. And this feels like the famine part, right? This card being picked up. You see the card that it is. The Joker, right? The Jester tosses it. We begin to kind of rummage through our baggage. And at times we're able to kind of decide, like, I'm not going to keep this anymore. I can't, I have to let this go. And then some things we encounter and we say, well, I, I don't think I have any choice but to hang on to this. <laughs> Right? Mm. And I do feel like a lot of these things could represent just general memories. Could be memories of joy, memories of, I mean, even trauma. We can go any, any direction here. There is a piece in this shot that just feels powerful. I think you could look at this and say, well, it, to me, it felt kind of hopeless. It felt a little depress you know, depressing. There's a blue tint to the screen. I could see that. But there's also this, this flavor of, let's see here. Look at the clothing, look at the necklace, look at the hair. And this might be a stretch, right? But the tub also feels like a level of safety. I think there's a piece here. You notice there's no baggage right here. Mm. 
Oh, that was a powerful shot right there. There's a lot going on in a shot like this. Mm. We can see the baggage off to the side. We see the different clothes. We see the horizon. We see the ocean. We feel this freedom. There's all this space around the main character here, right? But there's also this, this movement of the conductor that's controlling this orchestra, this, this very complex composition that is life, this journey that it is. It's a really, really powerful image. Mm. And this went back to the childhood aspect for me. Now this, this might be a bit of a stretch, I'm aware. But let me tell you what I think this could possibly be saying if we look at the journey that this person has gone through okay from here through the city the feast or famine through all the ups and downs, the difficulties, we found peace. But then that's not the end of the story, right? I feel like it's almost saying there's a responsibility here that once you reach, or even if it's temporary, you're in this place of peace. You've overcome a lot. Maybe there's a responsibility for you to pass on bits of your journey to others. Because you notice it's still the bit of the conductor. It's still, oh, I feel like it's just saying a lot. It's passing on that knowledge to others. Especially it being kids, I think it's pretty important. And the kids being all in white, there's a purity to them. But notice also, it's not like the kids are here on this piece of the sand, the beach, and he is right here next to them, also on the beach or over here on the beach. He is on this rock. He has a very firm foundation under his feet. And that firm foundation comes from the journey that he has made, right? So he has a better view. He can look and see more because of where he's at. And to take that information and essentially download it to others because you have that perspective, I think is part of what it means to be human. That's what I think. Now, I, I couldn't have articulated the entire journey that we took in this video. But this right here, as soon as the song demonstrated its feel, <laughs> 
that right there told me everything that I needed to know about the journey that we were just about to embark upon. That is beautiful.